So over the last several months of project renovations, I have found myself piling up supplies, which has accumulated quite the mess. The reason for this is that I haven't been able to find a home for all of these things, and even though it doesn't look like this all of the time, I can't help but to feel like not only is this not visually pleasing, but I'm also not utilizing the space. So today I'm going to change this and transform this space. What are you doing? I'm trying to unwind it. What was the back, do the backhanded flip, what was it? Hold on, unwind it. See what I'm talking about? It's like off center. Hold up. Now watch this. Right? You just f whip it. Whack! Ow, it I've never been more attracted to you. Right? <laughs> oh, by the way, we're rolling. What? That's my electric fly swatter. I love this thing. This is the best thing I ever bought. Every time I hit a mosquito with it, sparks fly. Wait, what, do you wanna, what do you want to do? Um, I'm going to start by by putting the cushions back on these chairs. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Okay, I don't actually remember how I got this cushion out. Okay, so this is Tim and I at Medieval Times. We go on our anniversary. Fun fact. Uh, Reggie's paperwork? Is Kirby have paperwork? Kirby has paperwork. He has a certificate of authenticity. It says what he you... is a purebred Corgi. Well, Reggie's a purebred Muppet, but he doesn't have a certificate. <laughs> didn't come from the uh, Jim Henson workshop. Listen, San Bernardino wasn't that <laughs> thorough. They just said this one was brought in by a cop. That's all they <laughs> told me. So I put this tape down to measure out um, a rug. I think that I got the measurement I need. Is this a rubber band? Yeah, I don't know where that came from. What? That's the biggest rubber. Now I'm gonna start making a pile of tools. Okay. Here's the thing, or here's a thing. This is all project stuff. Yeah. This is not gonna fit in there. This closet right behind you is not a lot of throwawayable stuff. It's like games. Sure there is. There, and... You can throw away half the stuff. There's like, there's a Legend of Zelda Switch. You don't no. need two of those. Yes. Yes. Well, we definitely paperwork. don't need two Legend of Zelda Switches. Yes, we do. Should, I should those just, are limited I should edition. do a giveaway on my channel. No. We'll do like a free Legend of Zelda Switch giveaway. Okay, well then you should buy one and do that. Because oh. that one... <laughs> Yes, I have two. And <laughs> no, you can't throw <laughs> Why away. Why do you have two? Because one's a collector's item. So I still so can So it can collect dust? So I can collect it in my heart. Doesn't that sound like hoarding? No. Funny story is this is all usable stuff. Like the pool floaties that you have decided to leave half inflated in there. Listen, they're only half inflated because I don't have anything to blow them up with. Because I am using my lungs. No, don't look at them for help. Because I am using... <laughs> Because I, <coughs> because I am using. Oh shit! Sorry. Hey. <clears throat> I got something stuck in my throat. You got audacity stuck in there. Yeah, this is all stuff that we're actually going to use. <clears throat> Put the storage unit down in front of you the parking. You don't play trumpet anymore. Yeah, I do. I put it out here. Why yeah. is the box covered in dust then? But the trumpet's on the inside of the box. You don't have to dust it off to open it up. You are so full of shit. You are so full. So full of shit. This is ridiculous. I mean. How oh, dare you. All of Tim's hoarding. So it lives to see another day. I don't think we need that. Yeah, put it on. This is also a thing. Boxes. Yeah, this is ridiculous. There's a PS4 box back there. There's a microphone box. Oh my box. god. Okay. You better get There's up. no spiders in there. Oh, okay. okay. All right, hold on. Let me recycle it. The amount of boxes is ridiculous. Look at this. I can hear you, you know. Look at that. I mean, how many f 
boxes does one guy need? You should probably break those down. All right, ready? Uh-huh. Do you need help? Yeah. Hmm. All right, well, there's that done. Okay. All right, so I've been doing a little bit of thinking and I have an idea of what I want to put in this space that we are clearing out. So over at my old place, I left a family heirloom. It is this red mid-century modern rocking chair that has been in my family for years. My mom thrifted it in the 90s and it has been, I don't want to say a point of contention in my family, but everyone keeps fighting to try and get it. And I happen to be the one that stole it. So I want to bring that chair over here. I also have a lamp that I like. Um, and underneath that, I figured it would be nice to put a rug. So I did a lot of research and this is what I found online. Now the website that I used luckily had a rendering feature so I could see what it would look like in the space. And initially I was convinced that I wanted a round rug like this one. But unfortunately I couldn't find any rugs online that fit the space that I was looking for. And honestly, after I saw this picture, I wasn't necessarily sold that a round rug would be the best option for this space anyways. So that was when I came across this oval one, which I actually really ended up liking. So that's what I ended up ordering, and that's going to be here on Friday, which is tomorrow. But before that gets here, I have to go pick up some carpet padding because it makes the carpets a lot more comfortable. That's what we did for this carpet, and it's made a world of a difference. Now, carpet padding is just a spongy material that you put under your carpet to make it nice and thick and plush to stand on, to sit on, and trust me, it saves your joints and makes a huge difference. The only downside of carpet padding is that normally it's very, very expensive. But luckily, I have a hack for that, and that's what we're on our way to do right now. So instead of purchasing something online, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our local mom and pop carpet store. Now, the reason why we are doing this is because purchasing foam from a carpet store is a fraction of the cost of purchasing brand new rug padding online. Now, the reason for this is because carpet padding is a cheaper material. It's just recycled chunks of foam that have been glued together and they put it under carpets. It's usually like a construction thing and most people do not think to buy it. Now, luckily, carpet padding feels exactly the same under your rug as rug padding does. I did a little bit of research, and if I were to buy brand new rug padding online for the rug that I just purchased, I would spend about $200 before taxes and fees and any of that stuff. Versus, I just called this shop who I've come to in the past, and I got an estimate. I said, I need carpet padding for about six feet by nine feet. Could you make that cut for me? The guy said, sure, and he told me that it was going to be $30, which averages out to be about 85% less in cost than if I had purchased something brand new online. Also, like I said, it's recycled. All right, so now that the rug is here, I've got to go pull the foam out of my car because it's been in there for the last couple of days while I was waiting for the rug to get here. So, one of the things that I was acutely aware of when I ordered this rug was that everyone in the comment section or the review section said that the rug was a lot darker in color than the pictures made it out to be, which I kind of decided was fine. It's supposed to be that deep dark green. 
Uh, I figured that it was better to have a green that was a little too dark than to have a green that was a little too light and sagey and then you have to try and blend other pieces and it just, it was better to go dark in this situation. This is a lot greener than I thought it would be. People made it out to be like black. I'll have to show you some of the reviews. Everyone was complaining. They were like, this rug is like legitimately black, not green. I'm looking at this and I'm like, this is very clearly green. Now is the fun part. I have to go in and cut all of this foam around the rug. Look at that. Nailed it. <clears throat> so last night we got a little bit too tired to set up the chair and the lamp here because uh, I wanted to get it on camera. So I'm going to do that now. I love this here. So overall, I really like how this space turned out. I think that between the rug, which was $89, and the chair and the lamp, which I already owned, this space now feels like a new area to hang out and relax in rather than just a pile of construction tools. If you want to see me transform another small neglected space, then this video where I completely overhaul this small area might be worth a watch. <laughs>